That's all we have for news. Aiden, what's going on in sports? Thanks, Dimitri. Thanks, Allison. Coming up after the break, Maddie Galloway is live in Platteville as women's soccer and women's volleyball take on the Pioneers. And we'll have highlights from men's soccer top 15 matchup against Wheaton. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. Do. I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? One, two, ready, go. Gonna pull the stops, gonna make it go. Ah, you're living on a wing and a prayer. Gonna put them things together. You know it's now or never. Duhok football kicked off their season this past Saturday at Elmhurst. Loris beat Elmhurst in the Rock Bowl last year, Elmhurst looking to return the favor on their home turf. Blue Jays up 10-3 when quarterback Bob Kelly goes down with an injury in the first quarter. Nolan Baumhover would step in for these Duhoks, and he hit Nate even with a 21-yard touchdown pass at the end of the second quarter. Ties the game at 10. Third quarter, All-American running back Josh Williams takes it 47 yards to the house, giving Elmhurst a 17-10 lead. Elmhurst eventually takes the game 31 to 17. Moving from the gridiron to the baseball diamond for a spring sports update. Nothing but smiles on the faces of Duhok baseball players as they kicked off fall practice this Tuesday. All smiles until some conditioning, that is. New this year to both returners and newcomers is the addition of a full JV roster. In, a, in an aggressive offseason, Coach Tebon increased the player count to 50 in order to field both a varsity and JV squad. The move gives more players an opportunity to, to see the field and develop their skills, something all players look forward to. Freshmen aren't really expected to play on varsity, even though that's the ultimate goal is to work your way up to varsity. To get that extra practice and gelling with the other young players, uh, I'm excited for it. Morris Baseball has taken the next step to increase the competition. We'll see how it pays off in the spring. Men's golf opened their season this past weekend, hosting the Loris Fall Invitational. Ben Sahumski and Peter Leinenweber led the way for the Duhawks, shooting a 5 over 76 and a 7 over 78 respectively. The Duhawks stayed right in the middle of the pack, finishing 7th in team play. After winning their home opener Friday against St. Olaf, women's soccer were back in the Rock Bowl Monday hosting Augustana. Duhawks looking to improve their record at 2-1-0. Vikings up 1-0, 52nd minute, Danielle Vujovic finds some space, rips a shot from 25 yards out, her second of the year. This one ties it up at 1. 20 minutes later, Maura Walsh gives the Duhawks the lead as she gets past the Vikings defense and gets her first of the year. 83rd minute, Duhawks commit a brutal error, handball in the box. Vikings connect on the penalty kick and tie it up at 2. Second period of extra time, Riley O'Neill sends one in from the corner. Danielle Vujovic heads this one home as the Duhawks go home happy, taking this one 3-2 over the Vikings. Maddie, Maddie Galloway is with the team in Platteville. Maddie, what do you have for us? Thanks, Aiden. I'm here at UW Platteville in front of the Pioneer Stadium where the women's soccer team is now warming up before their game. Duhawks are the girls' soccer team for the Duhawks are coming in with their win against Augustana on Monday, and the Pioneers are actually coming in with a loss against Aurora from Sunday's game. We also have another team here tonight, and that's women's volleyball, and they're taking on Pioneers, hoping to break their 2-3 season, breaking it even, I should say, and we want to wish both the Pioneers and the Dewhawks good luck tonight, while both their games start at 7 o'clock. Back to you, Aiden. Thanks, Maddie. While the women are in action tonight at Platteville, the men hosted second-ranked Wheaton last night in the Rock Bowl. A statement win was what the Duhawks were looking for in a top-15 matchup. Duhawks getting things started early. Alex Bradley left foot, upper 90, tweaking it past Matt Paparaki in the 12th minute. Duhawks up 1-0. Fast forward to the 64th minute. Johnny Rummelhart finds his way past the defender, putting it in the back of the net and putting the team up 2-0. 
Do Hawks utilize timely offense and solid defense to score this quality win against a top 10 opponent. Our defense just really wants to keep doing the same thing, shut people down, because if we don't let in any goals, we're not going to lose. That's all from Sports Shorts. Allison, Dimitri, I'm throwing this one back to you.